it's useful now for us to take a, a step back and look at all that we've learned so far about electric and magnetic fields. We're coming quite close now, actually, to having the full entire theory of electromagnetism as we've been developing now these uh, close uh, analogous developments for magnetic fields to what we had seen previously for electric fields. So let's just take a step back and see where we are now. So we have a force law, the Lorentz force law. Here uh, we realize that there are actually two different forces of particle fields. I've summed them here together into one electromagnetic force. It involves the charge of the particle times the electric field, and there's also uh, the uh, QV cross B classic uh, formula that we've had for the force on charges moving through a magnetic field. I've simply factored out the Q and combined these into a single force law. So already we see that the magnetic field inherently involves velocities and seems to have this cross product which appears throughout the theory. <clears throat> In addition to that, this then allows us to get around the issue of action at a distance because now instead of uh, particles fearing, feeling mysterious forces from far away, the forces that they feel depend upon their charge and just the fields at their particular location. The next question then, of course, is what determines the values of those fields and how can those be determined, again, without action at a distance? A partial answer to that question then comes through uh, Gauss's law, for instance, in the case of the electric field. In its differential form, as we've seen previously, we then are simply making local connections between the electric field and the local charge density. It also comes along with its own integral form. Very intriguingly, there's an exactly parallel law for magnetic fields where the magnetic flux through a closed surface, rather than being related to some enclosed charge, is always equal to zero. And we can see, again, that exact analogy carrying forth when we look at the uh, divergence of the magnetic field, the differential Gauss's form <coughs> for uh, magnetic fields. We've just learned Ampere's law. And in Ampere's law, now what we have is a closed line integral of the magnetic field, giving us back the current that's enclosed in our loop, plus then this additional term, which involves some fundamental constants and the time derivative of the electric flux through the loop, sometimes written as phi sub e for electric flux. There's a corresponding differential equation that we've been working with, which again shows that the magnetic field can be uh, traced to simple local connections with the local current density. <clears throat> this does raise a question then, when we see the nice parallelism between the different theories, it does raise this interesting question then, well, is there an, an analogous Ampere's law that holds for electric fields? If we were to take a closed loop integral, not of the magnetic field, but of the electric field, that, as we know, simply corresponds to adding up the voltages going around some closed loop. And right now, at the moment, we tend to assign a zero value to that. But that's something we might want to reinvestigate because we see, for instance, that the uh, magnetic field, its closed line integral, involves a series of terms. One involves a flow of charge, just like uh, Gauss's law involved here a net charge. So one might think that the integral of V dot dl would involve some flow of magnetic charge. But of course, the magnetic charge is completely always zero. There are no magnetic monopoles. So we wouldn't expect an analogous term to this current. So the fact that we have zero here seems sensible. But we still have this remaining question as to whether or not there might be some additional term that's analogous to this time derivative of electric flux. Might there be some magnetic flux derivative associated with this term? That's something we will look at later in the course. But this gives you, I hope, an overall feel for where we are. And uh, truth be told, we almost have the complete theory. There indeed is some additional term here that we will be discussing coming up.